Welcome to the Active Trader Setups Tutoring Reference Series where we'll be reviewing uh, charts and exactly tutoring you on how to set those charts up from scratch, what the indicators are on each chart template that's shown over on our Trader Member site under Products. So you go to TraderMembers.com, click on the Products tab, and we have the page set up for our members as well as it's open to the public if you want to learn more about our charts. We have each chart outlined, each template. We have a different section for the futures charts. And we're taking each chart one at a time and showing all the indicators that are on the chart, telling a little bit about what they tell you, showing you where the scanners are located to scan for the inflection points that are shown on these charts as well as at the very end of each of these reference tutoring videos, we will have a step-by-step -step instruction of how to create this chart from scratch with a new chart starting with the data series and then loading the template. That'll be in about the last five minutes of each of these videos that'll be shown right above the chart template on the page. And this will be the name of the video on the YouTube site that's shown right below the the uh, chart template on the page. So it's products page at tradermembers.com. That's open to the public as well. So you want to remember this if you're having to reconstruct a chart or you want to place a chart into a workspace you already have open. You don't have that chart there and you need to build it because you want to start using it in your workspace that you've already got created. You'll go over, find this video, just fast forward over the last five minutes, and it'll show you how to create the, each chart from scratch. And be sure to watch on our YouTube channel. We got the Active Trader Setups Trading Setup Series. It's coming out three and four times a week where we're reviewing actual charts from from the day that's using the chart and the indicator setups that are on that chart to actual use practical application of the indicators on the charts, how you're going to read them and how you're going to react and trade to them. That's an ongoing series uh, for our clients to learn from as well as our guests to learn more about our trading package. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and be watching for that series uh, multiple times a week. This video is brought to you by Active Trader Setups Trading Package, a day trader setups company. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel while you're here and go over to daytradersetups.com. You can find out more about our package under our features area, our registration area, as well as our education and training. We have a YouTube channel page that has links to various videos as well. And then you can go over to our members site. It's called tradermembers.com. Go to the products page, and we have a full listing of reference materials for our traders to to uh, access, but th this page is open to the public. It goes over each of the uh, charts and what they have on them, the indicators, the indications, how to scan for those, and so forth. This video covers chart template name ATS Cloud VLST. The actual template name is Zero ATS Cloud VLST. This is uh, so to be quickly found in your template uh, folders if you're having a reload because it has so many things on it. This is the chart that most likely gets out of whack and has to be reloaded. There's two factors on this chart: data series STS algo 25 and the WIC 25. And you can see those up in the left-hand corner of the chart. This is ATS Cloud VLST. Most of the information about what's on this chart is covered in the VL chart uh, video.
and the VL is just above here on the uh, products chart stock chart page the same indicators are on this the biggest thing is the settings for the cloud is the VLST cloud which is the difference in scanning say a three minute chart and a 60 minute chart or running off of a four hour chart or a weekly chart it's a bigger look back into longer uh, resistance points can be used more for swing trading the bigger stocks or another look at a different uh, area of resistance on your 25 uh, algo charts again there are uh, there's 50 VLST charts as well we discussed that a little more in the previous video I don't want to do a lot of repetition here if you have not watched the video on the ATS cloud VL it's a longer video it covers an extensive amount of scanner information concerning the clouds so be sure to go back and watch that video and it's going to cover all the indicators that are in this chart the only difference of the indicators that are on this chart and the VL chart is actually the cloud plot itself so that's about all the time I'm going to actually spend on this other than showing you how to build it this is the 25 ATS WIC algo VLST the WIC algo is the plot of the candles the STS algo is what's creating all of the indicators and the yellow dots and I'm going to show you a slight comparison going uh, between the two you got the 25 VLST and you got the 50 VLST completely different cloud same exact chart you can see these are day breaks multiple days involved and you can see how as this was pulling down here a few days ago is actually holding the top of this cloud and it's already a bullish cloud over here so all these little drop downs have been bouncing because it's still got a bullish cloud to the right hand side and it's pretty wide the wider this cloud is over here when you're pulling down it's even stronger probability that it's not going to collapse right here at that time now when it comes back down here again and now it's in an area that it's nothing to do with the twist being here it's to do with it being very thin not a very thick cloud it can come down here and this blue may be curling down back toward that yellow line it may be going to go on through the blue ends up crossing down you bounce you come back into the bottom of this and that's where you reject and you start running another cycle down so that's the difference in the two charts this is a 25 VLST and it's a 50 VLST and they're both showing us a different picture this looks like it wants to bounce here and that's a high probability because you got this big cloud over here so that's it did bounce uh, earlier and now it's made another pullback that's not even really showing up in this chart oh, excuse me I'm on the wrong chart uh, this is at the end of the day on that particular day now oh this is the wrong I looked at the wrong thing it's correct the uh, thing to be aware of is you can have a gap down and this stock can be way down here it will just show a string of candles all the way down here and that could be at 9.30 a.m. in the morning you get a quick bounce at 9.35 and instantly reject this candle that can happen so just because this is up here doesn't mean hey it can't come down we, we all know that every morning anything could happen maybe you have earnings on this and it's way down there could be a whole market down drastically for whatever reason and you could find this chart way down here at the open all a bunch of candles strung all the way to the bottom here an instant bounce and rejection 
So everything's based on what's happening. So just because something is here doesn't mean, hey, it's going up for days or it's going to bounce, it's not coming down. You know, everything's subject to what's going on in the environment of the markets. And we know today's markets move stocks a lot more than they used to move. They re they're more reactionary. And that's why my charts are based on price, action, and reaction. You know, I get asked quite often, do you think this stock's fixing to go up? Number one, I'm not an investment advisor. Number two, I don't think anything. I think when a chart gets right here, it's got a high probability bounce. And my job to make money trading this stock is to learn how to react to the setup. And when it quits going in one direction, react and get out of the way or reverse the position. If you're trading price action, that's what you're trying to learn how to do. Find high probability setups and then react to what happens. If nothing happens, there's no reaction. So the scanners and all were covered in the previous video on the ATS Cloud VL, and we're going to show you how to make this from scratch. Also in the previous video on the ATS Cloud VL, we also covered many of these indicators, how to read them, and also how to make like the blue diamond invisible. Things of that nature were also covered in that video. It's a pretty extensive video. There's a lot of teaching in there as well about the charts, as well as a lot of information about the scanners on the clouds. We got to know how to create this. We need the data series. We've got a STS Algo 25 and a STS WIC uh, set to the same size. The brick on the WIC is set to the same size as the Algo. We'd load in 600 bars, regular trading hours on both of these. On the website, it shows you the name of the template at the STS 25 factor, ATS Algo 25 brick. And I'm showing you now, you can also change those to a different brick size and it will create a VLST cloud and plots off a 10, off a 10 setting or a 50 setting. Uh, that's how you would, you would change that. That's how that 50 VLST is created. Nothing but a change of the inputs. So there's no video on how to create a 50 VLST. It's this video, change the numbers to 50 rather than 25, and everything else will take care of itself. So we're going to go to Control Center, New Chart. We're going to select symbol we're going to go with the sts all go set to 25 bars 600 no break in today regular trading hours should default to this chart style that's what it must be for the sts all go and then we're going to the bottom do not plot the plot executions we're going to add another uh, data series same symbol always. It's going to load the last thing you loaded, so you need to go down and get the ATS WIC algo. The brick needs to match the factor of the other setting. So this is a 25, so this is a 25 as well. 600 bars, regular trading hours. Do not break end of day. Do not plot, and you have to remember, no new panel. We want number one. We want it to be together with this one. That's all you got to do. There's your proper data series uh, chart has been opened. It's still loading. I can tell the way it's reacting to me touching it. We're going to right click. We're going to go down to templates. Go to go to load, and we're loading. The zero ATS cloud VLST. There's our chart with all the indicators. That's all you got to do for that. Thanks for watching our videos. Be, be sure to look at the ATST v, cloud VL video for extensive information about this chart and the scanners associated with it. This video is brought to you by Active Trader Setup's Tutoring Reference Series. 
where we're dissecting the components of each chart and all the indicators that are shown on the charts and how to read them and what they're intended to inform you about. Be sure to watch the complete series on any other chart templates you need information on as well as be sure to tune in to our trading and training series where we'll be looking at real-time setups on the charts as they progress through the day and you start to learn to recognize how you're applying all these indicators to your trading. We're taking the charts and the indicators and learning how they apply to real-time trading and reading the charts. That's the trading and training series. We're putting that out two to three times a week during the week. And then also on the weekends, we're going to have a weekend uh, chart talk video that goes into uh, many more charts that, that showed up throughout the week and mainly concentrating on the cloud setups and the ATS inflection charts. Thanks again for watching our video. Learn more about our trading package at ActiveTraderSetups.com.